Roborock shook the robot vacuum cleaner market by first releasing high-functioning robots relatively at a lower price point. After that, they continually brought upgrades and improvements to their lineup. The latest iteration we got from them is their highly popular Roborock S7 Plus. In this video, we're going to do an in-depth review of this robot vacuum cleaner, and we'll see if it's worth your money or not. So let's get started. Before we dive into the main review, let's unbox the unit first. Inside the box, you will get the S7 robot vacuum itself, then a charging dock, vibrarized water tank, mop cloth, and the mop mount. There's also a power cable, two dust bag, and a user manual to guide you through the process. Finally, we have the auto empty dock that comes in a separate package. In terms of the design, it looks just like what you expect a vacuum robot cleaner to be. It's round, 13.8 inches in width, and 3.8 inches in tall. The model comes in two colors, including black and white. Both look amazing. The build quality is as solid as you'd expect from a high-end robot vacuum cleaner. At the top, it has a LADAR scanner, and in front of it, there are three buttons including a dock, power, and a clean button. It's pretty simple to use. However, you can control the device entirely from the app if you want. Compared to their last model, which is S6 Max-V, the S7 looks almost identical, except for the front camera. The front camera is missing here, and instead, we have the standard infrared sensors. But to be honest, we didn't miss that feature, as the S7 Plus offered excellent navigation throughout our extensive testing. Speaking of navigation, the S7 Plus utilizes a bevy of sensors to track location and draw maps inside your house. The LIDAR sensor works extremely well to avoid obstacles during cleaning, even in dark rooms. However, we do want to mention that, as there's no camera in the front, sometimes it pushes things when there are too many objects on the floor. That's not the case with the S6 Max-V. Inside the app, it offers various settings and customization to fully control the robot. You can set it to clean one room and exclude the other, and it successfully does that. It offers multi-level mapping, where it can remember a total of four maps inside your house. You can even draw boundaries on the map to keep the robot from going places where you don't want it to go. Overall, the navigation system and app features are robust and extremely useful. We don't have any complaints in this regard. Now let's talk about the cleaning which we all have been waiting for, and spoiler alert, it's the best robot vacuum cleaner that Roborock has ever made. In terms of power, it has a suction power of 2500 Pascal, which is much higher than the older S5 and S6 models. We test the robot on carpets as well as the hard floors. It picked up dirt quite easily without leaving anything behind from pet hairs to large and small debris. Additionally, we run the test on low power and high power to find any difference. But shockingly, the robot did so well in the low power mode that we think that you don't have to run it on high power mode ever. The reason for all these is their new upgraded floating brush and brush housing system, which allows for multiple levels of movement. Because of that, the brush and the housing create a better seal on the floor. Next up is mopping. With 600 grams of consistent pressure, it delivers effective mopping throughout the cleaning process. We did a mopping test with dried on coffee and ketchup and found out that it picked up those tough dried on stains really well. We would also like to add that it did a better job than the S6 Max-V. Not by a huge margin, but definitely better. Moreover, the Roborock S7 Plus auto lifts up its mop to vacuum when it senses a carpet to avoid dampening the carpet. Let's admit that the worst part of using a Robo vacuum cleaner is emptying the dock, but not anymore. The Roborock S7 Plus comes with an auto empty dock, which alone makes it the biggest reason to buy it. After finishing cleaning, it drives back to the charging dock and empties the dust bin into a separate debris bag that can store 60 to 120 days of dust. Besides, it has a few additional features, like HEPA air filtration, for capturing 99.99% .99 of dust as small as 0.3 microns. In our testing, we found the auto empty bin works perfectly fine, and we think it can make your life a lot easier than usual. Inside the app, you will find four types of auto empty mode including smart, light, balance, and max. We leave it to smart as it figures out the best empty mode on its own. As for the battery life, the Roborock S7 features a large 5200 mAh lithium ion battery with a runtime of 180 minutes. If we compare it to the Roomba S9 Plus, 
which is another high-end robot vacuum cleaner from iRobot, the battery life is marginally better. The Roomba S9 Plus has a 3300 mAh battery with a runtime of 75 minutes. However, we do want to mention that since both of them are smart robots, they will return to their base to recharge if they run out of battery. That's not all. They will then resume cleaning exactly where they left off, but it's always nice to complete the cleaning in one run, which the Roborock S7 Plus is likely to do. Taking everything in consideration, it's safe to say that the Roborock S7 Plus is an excellent upgrade over the previous S6 Max-V. The navigation, cleaning, mopping, auto-emptying dock works exceptionally well in this device. Plus, if you look at the competition, like the Roomba S9 Plus and the Roborock S6 Max-V, it goes head-to-head -head with those ones, and in some cases offers much better results. However, you can say that the price of the S7 Plus is not cheap at all, considering its previous models. In that case, going with the normal S7 offers much better value. Well, we also agree on that only if you don't want the added convenience that comes with the auto empty dock. So, if you're on a budget, going with the normal S7 seems like a good idea. But if you want to make your life much simpler and easier, spending $300 more seems like a better deal to us. What do you think? So, that's all about our review of the Roborock S7 Plus vacuum cleaner. Hope you get a clear idea of whether it's perfect for your smart home or not. Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you have found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.